Many Americans are concerned about the economy, and for good reason. Inflation has been brutal these past few years. The COVID pandemic and subsequent wars have sent shockwaves through global supply chains and economies, leading to a significant surge in worldwide inflation. However, the world's most robust economy, the United States, fared well compared to the rest of the world's developed economies. From the end of 2019 to the end of 2023, U.S. GDP grew by 8.2%, nearly twice as fast as Canada's, three times as fast as the European Union's, and more than eight times as fast as the United Kingdom's. In 2024, inflation and interest rates are headed down and all signs point to a soft landing with healthy jobs and economic growth forecasts. But elections matter, and this didn't happen by accident. So let's look at some key indicators over the years to see who handles the economy better, Republicans or Democrats. Did you know that since the 1950s, 10 of the last 11 recessions began during Republican administrations? Did you know GDP growth was higher under Obama and Biden than under Donald Trump? Did you know that job creation is typically higher under Democrats than Republicans? and was more under Obama and Biden than Trump or Bush. Or that the unemployment rate was much lower under Obama and Biden than under Donald Trump. Most crucially, did you know Donald Trump has less money now than he would have had if he'd taken the money he inherited from his father and put it in a stock market index fund? But with all his lawsuits and six bankruptcies, he squandered his inheritance. For the last couple of decades, his credit rating has been so bad that Russian banks have had to bail him out. Russian banks have bailed him out. This isn't a reality TV episode. This is real life. Economic and national security are on the line. If you think Donald Trump is an excellent economic steward, think again. In real life, it's not the storyline, but the facts that matter. And the truth is, Donald Trump is an economic disaster.